Why did you stop working as a product manager? This question is asked quite often and to answer Vladislav and everyone else, let me give a context a little bit. Uh, my last job was head of products. I was managing three countries, Latvia, Estonia, Lithuania. I had corner office, fancy business card, and then I dropped everything to become iOS developer. Why? <laughs> So, first of all, coffee in the office was horribly bad, and that is legit reason. This coffee and this office <laughs> is way more better. Cheers. That's not first time when I'm switching careers. I was carpenter, I was soldier, I was policeman, bartender, technical engineer, project manager, then product manager, then head of products. So, sounds fancy, right? But in that career, I kind of already peaked because I was already senior management. So to get even more fancy business card, more money, you have to jump to another company or another country to higher position and so on. Inside the very phone, I couldn't do that because, yeah, basically you have the country limitations. Oh, who are you from some ex-USR country? <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, and jumping to the another company, I wasn't really interested. Why? Because at that level of product or project management, that's product management, you are, you are already getting into this uh, or work is important and mysterious level. You mostly kind of creating Excel reports, some presentations and so on, sitting in meetings, fighting for development resources. Uh, all the corporate politics and so on. If you are into the corporate career and would like to build a career like that, that's fine, nothing bad in that. I wasn't really interested into that. Also, I wanted to travel more, to do no task, vacation three months in advance and then get one, max two weeks to for vacation. I know it sounds like dream for US, but in Europe that's not normal and uh, I was kind of bored already. You can see that I'm kind of jumping in, be in between jobs every 10 years and uh, it was a time, you know. <laughs> I was at late 30s and I was kind of already wanted, started to think about kind of, okay, do I really enjoy this work? And actually I wanted to work more with Apple uh, stuff, build mobile apps for the Apple platform. And I could jump maybe to some another job when I can do that more in the Apple niche, but I wanted to build my own business as well, build my own mobile application, sell them in the App Store and so on. That's not that easy, you know. I first few years that was trials and errors, I learned iOS development on my own, started to build applications, found that you can't make money <laughs> if you do that in wrong way, as I did that on my beginning. And yeah, then I decided, ah, whatever, I will start iOS development freelancing. So no, if someone is asking me who I am, what I'm doing, I'm saying I'm iOS developer because I'm building iOS apps and that's way easier to explain whatever, let's say, to wife's co-workers or my parents or someone else. But actually, I'm also doing all the product building phase, monetization, everything. Basically, that's product management is still here, but I'm doing more and that is my own business. So. I still do product management, but for myself, and I don't, I don't have any willing to do that for others. No, I am in late 40s, almost 50. I'm still kind of doing 50-50 freelancing and indie app development. And if you ask me again, actually we discussed that with my friend Matt, he's also a YouTuber, he's working in corporate America, just made a video about uh, Iron Man, spent maybe eight months for this Iron Man and video. So check that out. I will link it in, in the description. So we had discussion and we kind of discussed about situation. So he's working for corporate America on a remote job, have chance to train for Iron Man, work remotely, all that stuff. Basically life is great. For me, the same. I'm working in great team. We are working on interesting project. Everything is good, but why are we kind of trying to create content, build your own, own product, something else? Because we could just work in jobs that we enjoy and do not care about much. So then we again ask each other, but would you keep doing that? What would you keep doing if money is not, not a problem? So for example, if I have the same monthly income that I have today, I don't know, from like that, from lottery ticket. 
what else? And uh, would I keep doing what I'm doing? So I will keep building mob mobile apps because I like that. I will keep going on YouTube and making YouTube videos because I enjoy do that. I will keep spending time hanging out with other indie developers and indie app developer accelerator because that's also is interesting and I'm passionate about that. Will they keep working on my freelance project? No. So, and that's my answer. That is why I dropped the product management job and that is why I eventually will drop freelancing as well. But I will keep making YouTube videos, I will keep building my own applications until I <laughs> will decide to do next career jump. I don't know what will be next. But yeah, that's what I'm doing now and that's what I'm not doing, those things that I'm not doing because I do not enjoy to do them. I am too old probably to waste time on things that I don't really want to do. And product management was for others, was one of those things. Hope this answer helps and maybe <laughs> spend a weekend thinking about what would you like to do if money is not an option. I know it's very cliche, but it kind of helps, this question kind of helps me to make my life decisions and I'm kind of, I don't know, I'm happy where I am, where I am found myself as a result. Everything is good for me, it works for me. <laughs> Could work for you as well. Bye.